Kicking off with a story that might give Russell a few ideas for Doctor Who. Now, according to recent news, staff shortages in the hospitality industry are at a record low. But for some companies, robots are helping to fill the gap. Uh, well, we don't need a robot tonight because Matt Allwright quickly volunteered to help himself with a trip to the pub. No surprise <laughs> there to find out which is better, man or machine. This yeah. is Bella who might just be the answer to a big issue facing the entire hospitality industry, including, just maybe, this place. The Red Lion, here in Hawkshaw, near Bolton, is a very busy pub. It's got an all-day restaurant and a fantastic reputation. But it also has a bit of a problem. Hey, Rick. Hi, Matt. Hang on. What's the big problem for you at the moment? Recruitment. Yeah. The last two years uh, have been by far the most challenging. That, that I've ever known. There just seems to be less people, you know, less quality applicants. How many vacancies have you got right now? So front of house, I could, I could easily take on another three, four, five staff. And in the kitchen, you're constantly looking for, for chefs to recruit. At the start of this year, there were more job vacancies than people unemployed for the first time since records began. And this lack of people power is having an effect on the hospitality industry's bottom line. We just simply don't have enough people in the country to fill all the jobs across the economy that need doing. Where did those people go? Well, some of them went home over COVID. We don't have as many foreign students in the country as we used to. You've got Brexit. And finally, you've got a sort of big retirement. About half a million people across the economy have moved out of the jobs market and are no longer looking for work. All of which, as Rick knows, is having an impact on how much pubs or restaurants can earn. On average, they're losing 20% of their normal revenues simply because they don't have staff to fill that demand. But in some places, that staffing gap is being tackled with an ingenious solution. And in Bolton, a stone's throw from Rick's pub, I'm about to see it in action. Allow me to introduce you to my two new robotic waiting friends. Here we have Bella and this is Hola. I'm going to see how they work in the kitchen while Rick gets the experience of being served by them. How does that sound? Nice! Restaurant manager David has been working alongside Bella and Hola here for nearly six months. It's kind of cute. Kind of cute, it is cute. How does it know its way around? Once it's know its route. It will avoid obstacles like customers walking around the restaurant or maybe a chair. It knows where each robot is moving so it'll avoid each other. So it'll do one route, it'll come through this way and it'll go out the other way. Or it'll come around this way if one's coming back. Once customers have placed an order, all that the staff here need to do is tell the robot which table to go to. So here's an order going in now. Yeah. Being tapped in at the front. Mm. It's tapped in the table numbers, basically. We've got two tables that he's going to go to. So each tray can be a different table. It can do, yes. And they take it off themselves <laughs> as it lights up. And, of course, there's no wages to pay. At just shy of £10,000, they're a big investment, but one that David says is well worth it. So how many robots are you using here? Three. And how many staff would be required to do that work otherwise? Probably around about seven. Wow. Time to see what Rick thought of his dining experience. Hey, Rick. Wow. Hey, Matt. How you, you got your food then? Yeah, it was great. And the service, how did that work out? Yeah, uh, to be honest, I probably enjoyed it more than I thought I would. So we're talking about £10,000 for one of these machines. Yep. Would that make sense financially for you if you could make it work somehow? Yeah, it would. Because um, ultimately that's a... That's a one-off cost. You don't have to spend time training. You don't have the robots calling in sick. So in the long term, yeah, the, the benefit would be there. Take those robots and put them into your pub. Yeah. What would happen? Would it work? No. The, the idea behind it and, and replacing a staff member works, but the reason you go to a pub is for the social interaction and you miss that with a with a robot. Many people worry that their job could one day be done by robots. But if there aren't the people to do the jobs, we will need to find some sort of solution. As for social interaction, well, maybe we should give them more of a chance on that one. Do you enjoy working at the restaurant? What's that, what's that like? Do you follow sport at all? You, you a football fan? Find Nothing. himself a new mate, aren't he? Yeah? Always trying to get a we'll conversation. We'll talk about that in a minute. We will indeed. Not for me. Thank that you one. very much.